Hi guys, I bought this ESP32 cam board to see how it works and how good it is. And honestly, it does the job well. So I thought I should do a video on this product. So without wasting any further time, let's get into it. So I bought this mini ESP32 board with camera for $8. You can get it for approximately $7 to $9. I got amazed by this tiny ESP32 camera. If you want to buy this, check the description and give it a spin. So to connect the camera, we need to open its camera connector. Then put the camera in place like I am doing in the video. And make sure you close the camera connector properly because loose connector could give you issues. So connect everything according to this given circuit. I already connected everything with my jumpers and we are good to go. Then connect the USB to TDL converter to the PC to program the ESP32 cam board. So open your PC and if you haven't downloaded Arduino ID, install it in your PC. And if you haven't downloaded ESP32 boards in your Arduino ID, then just watch video of mine and do that first. So now open the code. You can download this code from description or you can go to file examples ESP32 camera and camera web server. So before you upload any of these two codes, make sure you have commented camera model Rover Kit and uncommented camera model AI Thinker. And don't forget to put SSID and password of your Wi-Fi in it. After all this, go to Tools, select Board as ESP32 Rover Module. Upload speed to 921600, flash frequency 80 MHz, flash mode QIO, and partition scheme as UJAP 3MB no OTA, and code debug level as none, then select the COM port and hit upload to upload the code in ESP32. After uploading of the code, remove the jumper connected between GPIO 0 and ground, then connect the USB to TTL to PC again and open the serial monitor. You will see this message along with this IP. So go to browser and make sure your PC is connected to the same network as ESP32 and open that same IP in the browser. And if everything is fine, you will see this ESP cam web page. And then scroll down in the page and click on start stream button and you will be able to see the video output of ESP32 in a small window in the browser. Now you can change the resolution of video and you can play with different settings as well. But I'll tell you VGA and CIF resolutions are the best in my knowledge. And in CIF resolution I was able to get 20 to 25 frame per second video as well. So try that. The video is little shaky but what you are paying for it, it's totally worth it guys. So guys I hope you have an, a proper idea that how this thing works. So give this thing a try. It's totally worth it. From my side, I would like to make more videos on this product in future. So if this video helped you, hit like, give me a share and don't forget to subscribe. And if you want me to make more videos and more frequent videos, support me on PayPal. The link is in description. So have fun with ESP32 and I'll be right back with another awesome videos with some different electronics. So see you next time.